Hey there, it's David. Today we're going to hearken back to the words of Diana Ross. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Destinations are the name of the game when it comes to living life. Everybody's working for the weekend, the next vacation, that next relationship, retirement, or promotion, or those last few pounds. Yet the very thing on which the world is so prone to focus, destinations, is the very thing that's preventing you from filling the hole in your life that you've been trying to fill on your own. And the focus on getting to that next destination is the very thing that's preventing you from discovering who you are. The very discovery that will finally fill the hole in your life. You know that there's something more to life, but the world has taught you to pursue bigger, better, faster, and stronger destinations in order to find this elusive more. You've become so focused on destinations that you're missing the journey. And it's in the journey where the magic is found. It's in the journey that meaning and purpose are found. It's in the journey that the elusive more of life is found. So, are you willing to go on a journey with me today? I sure hope so. Let's go island hopping. question was um, what is a destination or what does it mean and so for me a destination is a place or purpose that I strive to reach or achieve in terms of a place to visit long ago my sister-in-law was ill and dying and I wanted to do something to give her hope to be a part of the future with me and with her children and so we had a destination in mind for graduation for my niece and that destination was achieved when she graduated from college to go to Disneyland and my sister-in-law was there every way and every step of that day that was both a place and a spiritual destination destination is defined by dictionary.com as the place to which a person or thing travels or is sent. This island starts with the realization that destinations are a part of life. Everyone lives under the watchful eye of some kind of destination. The flip side of this realization, and with which you will constantly struggle on this journey, is that your life isn't about destinations. For any destination is simply a specific point in time and space, a goal that you desire to achieve or a place that you've been sent. Graduation is a destination. Retirement is a destination. Getting married is a destination. Having a baby is a destination. Now, there's nothing wrong with destinations. Without destinations, you would simply stay in one place for your entire life. Destinations are essential to your life. They define what you have done, and they will influence what you will do. Destinations help you to keep on track. A life without destinations is like a GPS without a destination. Aimless. Give me a definition of destination. A place where you were meant to go thoughtfully. What has been a destination that you've had in your life? Finding myself. The problem with destinations is this. When you start to define your being, who you are, your identity, by a destination. A destination identity sounds something like this. I'm an accountant. I'm a student. I'm a parent. I'm rich or even I'm poor. A destination identity means that you define yourself by some destination. This island will help you to realize that who you are, your being, isn't about a destination. You're so much more than simply a place to which a person or thing travels or is sent. 
for who you are isn't about anything that you do or anywhere that you go. It's about your identity, your very being. Taken to the extreme at its very worst, a destination identity can and will become a label. I'm an alcoholic. I'm straight. I'm divorced. All of which might be true, but none of which will ever come close to describing the divinely complex intricacy that is you. The thing about any destination is this. Whenever you reach a specific destination, you realize that you simply have a much better view of your next destination. You then start the whole destination process all over again, just to reach your next destination and gain a better view of your next destination, and on and on and on and on. Conversely, when you focus on your being, your life becomes a journey of discovery and transformation. No longer is your focus on destinations. Your focus is on the journey. Graduation is a destination. Who you become while going through school is your journey to be. Retirement is a destination. Who you become while you're working is your journey to be. Getting married is a destination. Who you become as a husband or a wife is your journey to be. Having a baby is a destination. Who you become as a parent is your journey to be. Similarly, being an alcoholic is a destination, but it isn't who you are. Being straight is a destination, but it isn't who you are. Being divorced is a destination, but it isn't who you are. Again, these destinations, although being a part of the big picture that is you, will simply give you a better view of your next destination. My prayer is that you're able to see the difference, the difference between a destination and your identity. If you can't see the difference, then you know you're going to need to spend some more time on this island. How would you define destination? Destination. Where I live in Florida is my destination, where I love to be. Now, thinking about your life, other than where you love to be in Florida, have you ever had another destination that you were trying to find or trying to get to? Um, I've always wanted to work with children, and my destination now is working with the children at the preschool I work at. Your life is about so much more than an income level or a retirement age or a marriage date or a family tree. Your life is about finding peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding. The peace that reminds you that everything is going to be all right. In fact, this is your life's destination, being peaceful wherever you are and peaceful in whatever you do. Part of this piece is the confession that your life is all about the journey to be. The realization that life isn't about destinations, but the learning and growing that occurs in your life during the journey. Thus, in order to remain inclusive and sensitive to all people, for all of you who are dead set on focusing on destinations, focus on this. The journey is your destination. Can you define for me destination? Destination, that's a place that you plan to go. And when you get there, that's your destination. Have you ever had a time in your life when you had a destination and what was it? Uh, yes. My destination was to uh, <clears throat> build my own house and have a big glass window in the basement you could see through the pool and everything but I never made that destination <laughs> understanding that all destinations are merely one more step in the larger journey to be that is your life it just makes sense to focus on the journey as opposed to being consumed by destinations destinations are finite your journey is infinite destinations are literally here today and gone tomorrow your journey is always with you, for the journey is about who you are, not simply about what you do or what you have done. Destinations have a shelf life, an expiration date. 
the journey is eternal, never-ending. You can outgrow any destination. You'll never outgrow your journey. For as you grow and learn, your journey continues. Until you breathe your final breath, you're on a journey, your very own journey to be. And this journey is all about who you are as opposed to what you do. On this island, you confess that what you need isn't something that you can achieve by your own power. You can't earn peace. You can't win peace. You can't even will yourself into peace. For peace has nothing to do with anything that you do. Peace is about who you are. In fact, and this is a point that you must wrestle with on this island, you can only find peace in the transformation of who you are. You'll never find peace in behavior modification. Yes, behavior modification can and will help you reach some destinations, but I pray that you don't want to settle for a life of chasing destinations. My prayer is that you want a life that's defined by your journey to be, not merely defined by destinations that you've achieved. I know this might sound ridiculous to you right now. This all might seem like semantics. But I assure you that your journey to be is about so much more than simply semantics. Your journey to be is about you, the real you. The learning and growing you. The you that you are. Not just the you defined by what you do. One of the blessings, and I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to say it anyway. One of the blessings of ministry is in being involved in the death and grieving process. Few people outside of immediate loved ones are invited into the extremely personal and intimate grieving process like a pastor. It's been my honor to be at the bedside with families and to lead celebrations of life. Although each and every occasion and celebration has had a personal flavor, I can honestly say that every single time there's been one thing that's exactly the same. In every death situation, those left behind always find their way to telling stories about the life of the deceased. Regardless of age, geography, race, or gender, all of these stories are about who the person was. Never in all my years of ministry have I heard funeral stories about bank accounts or degrees or promotions or retirement ages or trophies. Each and every single time, the stories have been about the stupid song that they love to sing, the gross food that they love to eat, the jokes that they used to tell, the times that they made a fool out of themselves, and the other times when they helped out and they thought that nobody was watching. In other words, all of the stories told over caskets are about the person's journey, not about the person's destinations. The stories are about who they were, not what they did. Well, because of all of this, this island invites you to change your focus. You're invited to focus on the journey as opposed to focusing on destinations. Because of this new focus, there's now no set time frame for any of the islands. In fact, you'll find yourself at different times in your life having to revisit islands over and over and over again. Not because you missed something or you failed in some way, but because of a new situation you've encountered or some new revelation you've received. For as you focus on your journey, you will be freed up to learn and grow. You will be able to literally take the time to smell the roses. All of this learning and growing will, in turn, require you to re-examine certain aspects of your life. Some of your long-held perspectives will be challenged. Old biases and prejudices will fade away. And the way things have always been will no longer hold you captive out of some deluded fear of failure. For on a journey, there is no failure. There's just opportunities to learn and grow. Please don't look at your journey in a lineal, hierarchical way. Look at your journey just as the title of this podcast implies. Life is filled with the opportunity and the possibility to go island hopping. The islands of your journey to be aren't destinations. These aren't simply rungs on a ladder to climb or steps in a process that you're completing. These are islands of rest, 
refuge, recreation, learning, and growing in the ocean of your life. These islands invite you to visit and revisit, experience, ponder, learn from, and build upon as many times as needed during your life. When you sail away from one island, don't for a minute believe that you won't be back again. This is why I encourage you to build a hut, hang your hammock between two palm trees, and cut a path to the top of the hill so that you can watch the sunrise and the sunset. For you will encounter new information and new revelation on your journey to be, information and revelation with which you must wrestle. Thus, you will be back on this island again, but you won't be starting from scratch. You will simply be building upon that which is already yours. So, for all of you destination-focused people out there, you're invited to see the journey as your destination. And it all starts with the confession that you need something, that you have a hole in your life that you haven't been able to fill on your own. Are you ready to replace your long-held focus on destinations with a focus on your journey? Can you make your journey to be your new destination? Well, here's to smelling the roses as you journey toward your next destination. You might not always know where you're going to, but I pray that you love the things in life that God is showing you. So, until next time, when we will focus on the importance of clarity May you experience all the magic that is your journey to be. Hey there, he Jack. Island Hoping is a production of Journey to Be Ministries and is sponsored by Beneva Christian Church. You can find Beneva Christian Church on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, as well as their website, BenevaChristian.com. If you would like to contact David, you drop him an email at islandhopingpodcast at gmail.com